All right, tell us how St. Augustine was founded and where it got its name. Uh, okay, St. Augustine was uh, founded by Don Pedro Hernandez. He made landfall here in uh, September 8, 1565. And he was sent over here by King Philip of Spain. St. Augustine was named but for uh, St. Augustine, the patron of St. Augustine, whose feast was going on in Spain at that time. And that's what he actually named the St. Augustine. Okay, now tell us how Florida came to be, the name. Well, Florida was founded by uh, Juan Ponce de Leon. And when he landed here, he saw the beautiful flowers in bloom around Eastern Time, so he called it La Florida. Land of Flowers. That was on March the 13th, 1513. Alright, well, thank you so much. You're quite welcome, David. Have a good day. Alright, believe it or not, we're still on the same tour, but we have a different driver. What's your name? Hi, guys. My name is John. How long How long you did? Driver was the red friend. I've been with the company over four years now. I'm retired. And this is my fun job. I love people, and I love the old city. All right, thanks a lot. For the shopping district. One of the most popular streets at that time for 200 years or more was Charlotte Street. The next street coming up here is the north and south. This is where all the merchants were at that time. As the boats would drive through this area, dropping off merchandise for those stores back here at that time. To your left and to your right. Here we are coming up to the shopping historical district. Over 300 stores aboard, ladies and gentlemen. This is for your shopping, your eating and drinking convenience and pleasure.
important, ladies and gentlemen. Our first parish of America, please remember, this is where it all begun for our nation. Well, as you look to your right, you'll find the old Spanish government house. Here's the uh, marina, the yachts out here, St. Augustine. Well, you're going to see your ride up here, you're going to see some beautiful homes. Now, most of these homes dating back to the early, middle, and late 1800s, right up here to your right. Beautiful Victorian, colonial, Renaissance, ancient and Spanish Renaissance. All of these have been refurbished and are privately owned. Ladies and gentlemen, as you head toward the area going south, the oldest part of the city, heading toward the Gonzales Alvarez House, known as the oldest house. First resident here, history says the oldest house was in 1650. And doors. Over 300 years of history lies beneath those walls. The oldest house, folks. In the oldest house. The oldest house. To your right. Wow. The Gonzales Alvarez House, ladies and gentlemen. If you love antiques and artifacts, some of the old furniture, especially on the upstairs area, dating back to the early 1700s. Now your kitchen, the Spanish separated their kitchen from your living area on the bottom portion because of the heat factor here in the Old South. You'll find your original pots, pans, and cast iron kettles and pots still in that area today. Hope you will put this number one on your list, ladies and gentlemen, as the Gonzales Alvarez House, the oldest house.